Driving on these Arkansas roads, farmers are working fiercely. With planting falling later behind, many are struggling to get this year's crop in the ground. Basically, we've been running around the clock when we could go uh, to try to get this crop in the ground on a timely basis. Yeah, we're really behind, probably 30 days behind last year. And just weeks ago, this field right here was covered in water. Now it's a race against Mother Nature since they're so behind in planting, and even tractors are still getting stuck. As the wheels turn in place in this heavy clay soil, Farmers in the area are reminded how late this year's crop may be, especially considering the jump start farmers had in 2012. Last year was exceptional. Normally, uh, we would be probably a week behind that and be around the 75% mark. Uh, this year, we're probably 40% total planted. Corn planting was off to a decent start before Mother Nature brought continuous rain. We were able to get in the field the second week of March. We were able to plant about 500 acres in two days. Uh, and then it started raining. Both farmers were forced to sit on the sidelines and watch it rain. As the fields flooded, potential replants surfaced. The cool, wet start forced Stevens to replant 120 acres of just one field. For Mincer, emergence is spotty and corn conditions continue to decline. The corn crops been going through severe flooding all spring. The lower ends of the fields are all real weak and thin. Uh, we're having to add extra uh, nutrients out there to try to bring the corn crop online. But it's the rice crop really weighing on their minds. Normally, these farmers would start planting rice March 25th. This year, they finally started sowing seeds at the end of April. The later you push into September, uh, you're taking a bigger chance of having a, a big tropical storm develop in the Gulf. One thing is uh, going through the more diseases the later you are in the year. Uh, we may be pollinating during the hot time of the year, which leads to blanking in the rice. So. It could set us up for lower quality, lower milling yield rice again this year, which has really plagued the U.S. rice industry the last three or four years. Both farmers say they have to get everything planted by the end of May. And as the calendar approaches the middle of the month, Mincer thinks more rice acres could be forced out of production this year. If it keeps raining, we'll go to flying rice in, and that doesn't work as well. And it just, usually you mud it in, you're going to mud it out, extra cost. Uh, you know, it's just, it just carries on throughout the year. He says rice acres are already down this year, falling below the 1 million mark in the state for the first time in more than 30 years. But for both Stevens and Mincer, their biggest concern right now remains getting the crop in the ground in just a matter of weeks. Reporting from Southeast Arkansas, I'm Tyne Morgan for Ag Day.